Hey yo, the year is 1993, and yours truly, Sylvester Stallone, hey yo, made a movie called Demolition Man, a film that hits you over the head like a sledgehammer and then offers a pinball machine as surprising as finding a hidden Taco Bell in a dystopian future. This cinematic endeavor, directed by Marco Brambia and featuring Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes, is a remarkable case of subpar film spawning a surprisingly entertaining pinball machine. Hey, you can knock him down. Why don't you try knocking me down now? The film propels us into a seemingly utopian but overly sanitized future, where crime has been eradicated, but so has any semblance of fun or spontaneity. Stallone plays John Spartan, a man out of time, thawed from a cryogenic slumber to stop a nefarious plot by Simon Phoenix, played by Snipes. The film's plot is as nuanced as a bulldozer, opting for explosive action sequences over character development or coherent storytelling. Uh, Stallone's performance is about as subtle as a jackhammer in a library. Snipes, on the other hand, turns the villainous charm up to 11, chewing through scenes like a chainsaw through butter. The supporting cast is pretty good. It's got Sandra Bullock, she's pretty hot, and there's like seashells and stuff. Sylvester Stallone. Wesley Snipes. Demolition Man. Now let's dive into the pinball machine inspired by this cinematic spectacle. Demolition Man 1993 pinball machine designed by Dennis Nordman and manufactured by Williams is a delightful surprise that springs from the wreckage of the film. It captures the essence of the movie's chaotic future while offering a pinball experience that against all odds is highly entertaining. The gameplay is a frenzy of lights, sounds, and actions, mirroring the film's over-the-top nature but in a way that's genuinely fun. Players are thrust into a world where they must complete objectives, perform skill shots, and engage in challenging multi-ball modes, like a lot of them. It's like navigating the chaotic narrative of the film, but without the headache. The machine's layout is cleverly designed, demanding precision and strategy from players. It presents challenging shots and intricate features that immerse them in the film's dystopian world. It's a roller coaster ride that can be as unpredictable as the Taco Bell menu in the film's future. The audio design featuring sound bites and quotes from the film, along with an electrifying soundtrack, adds depth to the pinball experience, creating an auditory spectacle that elevates the gameplay to new heights. In conclusion, Demolition Man, the movie, may be a cinematic wrecking ball of subtlety, but it's a pinball counterpart as a hidden gem in the rubble. It takes the film's lackluster qualities and transforms them into an action-packed, fast-paced pinball adventure that, like Taco Bell in a dystopian future, is a delightful surprise. So if you find yourself at the crossroads of cinematic destruction and pinball excitement, bypass the movie and head straight for the pinball machine. It's an experience worth having. Yeah, yeah.